Welcome back Web3 TV, I'm Cristina Nájera and today I'm taking you to the Cardano Summit. We are going to discover how people are using Web3, AI, blockchain and cryptocurrency every day in their lives. Follow me and let's find out more. UNET is a very interesting project because we are building an infrastructure layer in a sense that we are building a smart connectivity layer for decentralized computing. We are exclusive to Cardano. We are homegrown. All of our team is full of Cardano developers, Cardano native people. And so we've, the, we've launched the first USD-backed stablecoin in Cardano. And we're very excited about what we have to announce, which is now the Mika white paper has been filed, which makes USDM the second USD-backed stablecoin that's been approved under Mika. What we're doing is a distributed cloud storage and cloud computing protocol uh, built on Cardano. DPIN means uh, basically deep, decentralized infrastructure. So in centralized world, for example, Google and Amazon, we store data in centralized locations. So for example, in a specific location at a specific time, and if that data is leaked, well, all the data in that specific server is leaked. So we have data leaks, uh, data leaks all the time, and we're trying to help secure data in a, in a more compliant way, in a compliant fashion. So uh, decentralized storage is what we're working on. So DPIN is a general term for distributed storage and distributed compute. Manzana is Apple in Spanish, so liquid Apple. So being able to have that liquidity is so important. Right now, currently, the real estate sector is not as liquid as it could be, right? So like a commodity, just trading a stock similar to a REIT, but being able to have that built on blockchain and having a new rail system for financials is actually very important, it being decentralized. And so having that liquidity globally, and that's basically what we're, we're trying to focus on. Why did you choose Cardano? Because Emergo is a founding entity of Cardano, basically giving it back to the ecosystem that brought us into the foreground. Uh, so as a founding entity, we had our obligations, we had our responsibility and duty towards the ecosystem. So that's why we chose Cardano. Even though we believe that all roads in future will lead to interoperability, that means Cardano has to work with other chains, projects have to go multi-chain. Uh, but our roots are in Cardano. So Cardano, the community, is very dear to my heart. Uh, when I first got introduced to it by our, like the Cardano Foundation and met Charles and everything, I knew that's something special. And it turned out to be true. There are like so many outstanding projects, but they don't have enough attention. Um, there's not enough liquidity in the market. And that's where we come in and said, like, we should actually anticipate and help them to grow. You have the technology part and you have the payment layer. So the payment layer is on blockchain because it is the best way to enable global payments without intermediary. So when the job is done, it is entering in, uh, the job is actually created, it's entering into a smart contract. And when the job is done, the smart contract releases it. That's what blockchain is for. So you can do this payment globally without intermediary and it will work every time. And we want to implement, and we are implementing that on Cardano. Thank you for joining me today, guys. We had a lot of fun at Cardano Summit 2024. If you want to discover more about this technology, you need to watch the full interviews. Remember that we are here to share with you more about Web3, AI, cryptocurrency, and blockchain. I'm Cristina Najera. See you next time.